Well, hello there. Alan Tiller here. Um, for this video, I am flying solo. I have been to TK Maxx at Harbour Town very recently, and Halloween 2024 is coming up, and I decided to spend a bit of money on a few things, so I'm going to show you some of those wonderful things. So this is a Stay Spooky sign. Um, if you have been following me for a while, you'll know that I quite often write Stay Spooky in books when I'm signing them for people. So I thought that was appropriate. You may also know that I collect Frankenstein stuff. I found a Frankenstein tea towel. How cool is that? Um, it's two pack. It's a smiley, happy Frankenstein, which is cool. Very, very cool. I found some glow in the dark lollipops. Now I had a bit of a play with these earlier and I was a little bit disappointed to find that it's actually the sticks that glow and not the lollies themselves. But still cool. Um, I may open that up. Actually, let's just open it now. If I can find the right end. Oop, Karen has some scissors here, so let's just chop that open and see what we get inside. So we have a skull, skull candy. I'm guessing that that's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin, it has a little pumpkin face. Um, that pretty much looks to be it, to be honest. It doesn't look like there's much else. I thought there'd be maybe a ghost, but I just poured out the whole packet on the floor. No ghost, it's just pumpkins and skulls. Well, that's a little bit disappointing, I'm afraid. Um, but, you know, that's how it goes. I also got another pack of tea towels. This one's really cool. It has a pumpkin, black cat, and on the side here, it has a little ghost. Look at that. How cool is that? It's Halloween all year round in the Tiller household. Now, I thought this was pretty cool too, so I grabbed this. Um, this was a little bit pricier. So this was, oh, was that? This was actually, it's not too bad. Some of these were quite expensive. This is a tablecloth. This was $17. And uh, if we take the top off here, you can see it's all cutesy ghosts. Um, there's a little picture there of it on a table. It's pretty cool. I like it. Now this one, this one um, is a Reversible drying mat, set of two. Now, what would I want with a reversible drying mat? Not much really, except um, one of my favorite animals in the whole entire world is a raccoon. And as soon as I saw the raccoon, I was like, hell yes, I need this item. Can't wait to open this one up. Um, let's do it now. This was $9.99 at TK Maxx at Harbour Town. Did not see this in the uh, Churchill Centre TK Maxx though, unfortunately. So the back side of it is orange and the front side is all that cool stuff. Raccoons and black cats with balloons and black cats with pumpkins. Um, very cool. Well, I think so. What else do I have in my box here? Can't show you that one. Now, as I said, I collect Frankenstein stuff, um, particularly Universal Monsters, Frankenstein and Dracula. But Frankenstein is my favorite book of all time. Um, and if I see Frankenstein stuff, I pretty much grab it because it's Frankenstein. And this is a Frankenstein coffee cup. This one was $9.99. You've got bolts in the side. Now, a bit of trivia, the original Frankenstein doesn't have bolts in the side. Um, but yeah, Frankenstein cup. What else do I have in this bag? I have, they wrap stuff pretty well. I have a really cool ghost soap dispenser. It even says, let me just get that out of the way. It says boo, and it sparkles. 
And that way you can keep your hands clean. Very cool. That one was $12.99 at TK Maxx. Oh, there we go. Spooky. That's one bag down. One giant TK Maxx bag. Just chuck that over there. Uh, so, today we went to the Churchill TK Maxx and I bought Karen a black cat. She even has a tail. So this is a snuggle buddy and it is a heat and hug microwavable uh, wheat bag which opens up from the back but it's a black cat now we love black cats um and we would really love choco cat from sanrio we cannot find a choco cat anywhere so this will have to, to have to do we actually do have a black cat his name is odin now getting down to the big stuff now as i've said multiple times i like frankenstein and this isn't frankenstein it is a green monster who happens to look just like Frankenstein. How about that, eh? Just like Frankenstein. Now, I am going to actually unbox this in another video and turn it on and see what it's like. Um, so we'll save that for that one. Last but not least, and this is probably... Well, actually, there's, this is probably the heaviest thing of the lot. Um, this is pretty awesome. Let's just make sure I don't drop it and break it because Karen will kill me. Just get all this paper off. Very well wrapped. Thank you, TK Maxx. This is very awesome of you. This is a cookie jar. And it's a haunted house cookie jar. Now, how good is that? As a ghost trying to get in the window, the roof of the cookie jar is a witch's hat. A little pumpkin down there. I don't know why he's not orange. Maybe he's rotted. Spooky, spooky. That's the back side. Back to that side. And that one is obviously the front. Now, they have put these elastic bands on it so the roof doesn't fall off. It is quite large. It is quite heavy. That was $30 at TK Maxx. But that is freaking awesome. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I am going to unbox and test the Frankenstein box in a minute. That'll be in another video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Follow me on YouTube at Paranormal Hagrid or on Patreon, Alan Tiller. I'm also on Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, X, Twitter, whatever you want to call that. Or you can find me on YouTube. Bye-bye.